In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the upstream O2 sensors on this BMW X5. These are going to be located under the hood on the passenger side. Let's get into it. I'm going to remove the engine cover. Just grab underneath the front, just pull it up, and then you want to pull it forward. Disconnect this tube on the side so you can just pinch this to release the lock. Just move that out of the way a little bit. Disconnect this connector right here. I'm just going to use a pick. Just get underneath the little lock tab. Pull that connector off out of the way. Now using a T25 socket, we're going to take these screws out. Take those out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take this screw out. Using a straight blade screwdriver, loosen up the worm clamp right here. And also the one down below, loosen that one up. Take the snorkel off. Right there, and down below, I'm going to pop this hose off of the tube. Be careful, this tube is brittle. These do break. This one broke here. Just pop that up out of the way. If you can release it from up here, just use a pick. Just pop this off. Pull that off. It should stay together. Just grab the tube, rock it back and forth, and slide it out. Now you can see this connector right here. There's a retainer holding that in. I'll just pop that out. And there's a tab in the middle here. Just push down on the tab. Disconnect the connector. You can follow the wire back. There's some retainers holding it in. Just pull it out of the retainers. Now I'm going to reach down using a O2 sensor socket. Get onto the O2 sensor. You can use an extension if you need to, if it helps out. And you want to crack it free. Once you get it loose, you should be able to do it by hand. Just twist it out. There we go. Twist it out, pull it out. Take the new O2 sensor. Get that lined up. And thread it by hand. And it's a little tricky to get a torque wrench in there. Do the best you can. You want to torque this to 36 foot-pounds. There we go. Now take the wire and you want to line it through the retainer. There's a clip right here. Just get it through that clip near the heat shield. There we go. And if the other wire was going through there, you want to put that also. The other O2 sensor. Now bring the wires up top. Connect the connector that to line up. Lock that down and push it into the bracket. If this wire popped up, push that back in place. I'm going to take this intake tube, get this lined up down below. Slide it onto the air box as well. That 
that's in place. You can clip it in the hose. And then this hose, that one right here, you want to clip that on. Be careful, these are pretty brittle. Just get that lined up into the valve cover. And clip it in. There we go. That's set. And then get that bolt started. Snug that down and take these two screws. That's good. Take the connector, connect the connector, uh, tighten down the hose clamps. Up top, and just snug that down. That's good. And down below. I'll take the cover. Line the tabs up in the back. Push those in place, push it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.